money is, just Casey's General Store is going to give you money for your lunch. Like, it is really an amazing program. Um, Casey Lane is in charge of it now. Joe Bolsbrook was for years. She made you a little note, in the last four to five months, we've had about $30,000 that have come back to Garrigan from these businesses for tuition for the families. So that is $30,000 that was just put right back to Garrigan from local and um, businesses like my aunt lives in Des Moines and she just gets a $100, $200 Visa card a couple times a month and then just uses it for everything. So take a look at Scrip. Um, she also has in this packet a really nice list of a lot of the, I call them frequently used businesses. Um, you can turn in a paper copy. Um, website has the date. Twice a month. But a lot of our local businesses participate. And so uh, if you're a local business that participates, can you shoot your hand up for some reason? Train your hand up. We have some, yeah, we've got some local businesses that uh, are part of this. You can just get fair bucks. It's just really, there's a lot on this. So just look it over. If you have questions, reach out to me, Christy Peterson. Reach out to Casey Lane. Um, and we let's just really amp up the script program and have it help you, like I said, priorities tuition, but then you can go right into your lunch. All our kids eat, some of our kids a lot. So if you have questions, please find me. Otherwise, I'm gonna put these outside to the lobby, grab them on your way home. Also, Ms. Rupert has asked me to remind you of our concert etiquette. So please remember that even if you have little ones, these guys, it's their night. Let them shine. Please make sure your little ones are sitting. Make sure they're staying their seats up in the bleachers. If you really need to use the restroom, I think Mr. Allerson is about a 30 minute program, but if you really need to use the restroom, please wait till people clap and then head out, then wait till they clap again to come back in. We just really want these guys to be the focus of a great evening. So thanks for coming, and if you have any questions, come see me.
Good evening. I just wanted to let you know we had a couple people sick today. So Audrey Meister, who has a beautiful voice, her part will be sung by Amelia Borman, who's got a gorgeous voice too. And then Braxton Miller was sick, and his speaking part will be done by Jane Stirda. You're in for a real treat. Good evening, welcome, and Merry Christmas from Mrs. Trainer's third and fourth grade music class. Please join me in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for the opportunity, dear Lord Jesus, thank you for the opportunity you, you have given us to come together and remember your miraculous birth. Please send your Holy Spirit to be with us now. Thank you for the gifts and talents you have given each of us. Please accept a Christmas play as a humble gift given back to you. Mother Mary, please pray for us. Amen. And of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In those days, a decree went out that all should be enrolled in the census. So Joseph and his wife Mary, who was with child, went from Nazareth, Nazareth to the city of David, called Bethlehem. While they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. She gave birth to her son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now, wise men from the east had been searching for one who would fulfill the prophecy, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. They knew it would lead them to the newborn king.
applies for King Herod the Magnificent, King Herod the Awesome, King Herod the Amazing, King Herod the Brilliant, King Herod the... I am also King Herod the Busy. What is this meaning about? Your Greatness, you wanted to meet with the three Magi who arrived in Jerusalem yesterday. They are here. Yes, Your Brightness. They have came with a large caravan and have been asking lots of questions about a star they have been following. Oh, yes, I remember now. They think a new king has been born? That is just ridiculous. Nothing gets past me. Everyone knows that I would be the first to hear something that important. Well, actually, is there something you haven't told me? Would you like to tell him? No, I think you should tell him. No, I really think you have, you have better verbal skills. Oh, stop it. Give me the news. Well, Your Excellency, it seems there is a prophecy. It has been written by the prophet Micah. Bethlehem in the land of Judah. From you shall come a ruler who governed my people Israel, whose going forth and living has been from old to everlasting. Israel? There's only one king of Israel and you're looking at him. No one's going to take my throne. I know. We'll tell these magi to go to Bethlehem. Him. Once they tell me where that child is, I'll be able to get rid of this threat for good. Call them in, but don't let them know what we talked about. It's our little secret. Ha 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 ha! Hearie, hearie, announcing Melchior, Balthazar, and Gaspar, three magi from the east. Following a star in the sky. The signs of the heavens say a king has been born. We have followed this star to Jerusalem with gifts for the new king. We thought you might know where to find him. Of course! Why wouldn't I? Since I am the king, I am the first to know everything. This king is to be born in Bethlehem, in the land of Judah. Bethlehem? That's not far from here. We will leave at once. Yes! Go! Look everywhere. But listen, you must tell me where he is right away so that I may worship him too. I certainly don't want to miss this. <laughs> Something about that king bothers me. I don't trust him. I agree. I don't think his intentions are good. My friends, God will show us what to do. King Herod may be the king, but we have journeyed a long way and soon we'll meet the king of all kings.
star has stopped moving. It is shining on that small house. Do you think that's where we'll find the child? Come, my friends, we must be close. Yes? Forgive us, sir. Our caravan has been traveling for many months, following a star in the sky. The star has stopped here, over your home. The star has been leading us to a child, one who has been sent by God to be a great king. Would you know where we could find him? Yes, I am Joseph, and this is my wife, Mary. The baby you've been seeking is here. What is his name? His name is Jesus. We have come such a long way to find him and honor him with our worship. He is so peaceful. The star that shines outside seems to have come to rest on this child. On the night that Jesus was born, that same star was shining over his manger. His manger? Yes, we had come to Bethlehem for the census, and there were no rooms left at the inn. The time had come for the babe to be born. An innkeeper offered us his stable. A humble birth for such king. It is only one his father could have planned. They traveled so far from the home that they knew to come to Bethlehem. Joseph and Mary had a babe to be born, and there were no rooms at the inn. But God had a place for the birth of his son, a place for the baby to lay. And the Lamb of God was born in a stable filled with straw and hay. Glory to God in the highest. Our Savior is here. Emmanuel's come. Glory to God in the highest. Jesus is here bringing peace to all men. God's gift. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord.
Jesus may not have been born in a palace, but all of heaven celebrated his arrival. The star declared his glory, and a multitude of angels sang a song of praise. We also want to honor him. We have brought gifts for the new king, precious gifts of great value and meaning. First, I bring you pure gold, the symbol of strength and power. Gold is reserved for royalty, truly a gift for a king. For all of creation will bow before you. For you are not only the king of all nations, you are the king of all kings. I bring sweet-smelling frankincense, an incense of great value. Frankincense is burned at the altar to represent the prayers of the people. Frankincense also has great healing power, a perfect gift for one who brings great healing to his people. It is the sweet-smelling fragrance of worship that I bring to you. And finally, I bring oil of myrrh to anoint you. It may seem an odd gift for one so young, but I give it to you as a sign of your humanity, for you are both son of man and son of God. The gifts that the gifts are are of great worth that then with these that we have laid at your feet. Tiny king, we humbly bow before you and honor you as the king of our hearts.
Jesus has changed our hearts forever. In him is a promise for all nations. Now we must return to our countries to tell everyone what we have seen here. But we will not be returning the way that we have came. What do you mean? Last night, Gaspar had a dream. God gave me a dream to warn us. Herod's intentions towards this child are not good. He is planning something terrible. We cannot tell him where Jesus is. We will go home another way. Gather the caravan. We have been given good news of great joy to deliver to our people. The light of God's love has come to all men. Hooray! Shout it to the nations that Jesus Christ is here. God has sent his only son and given us the gift of his love. Rejoice for Emmanuel has come. Hooray! Jesus is the king of all kings in the word of the prophet Isaiah. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government will be on his shores. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace!
As with Garrigan tradition, if we can get a little help stacking the chairs 12 high, it'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you.